Hi, I'm Bob Birch, Web Technology Specialist with North Dakota State University Agriculture and University Extension. And I want to talk to you uh, today about a search-related tool called Boolify, and you'll find it at Boolify.org. Boolify Here's a look at Boolify. What it does is allow you to create searches based on Boolean logic uh, in a fun, visual way and uh, easily uh, keep those searches and use them uh, in any search engine that takes advantage of Boolean logic. What's Boolean logic? Well, it's just a simple way of building relationships between search terms using the operators AND, NOT, and OR. And you can see those operators represented here in the left-hand side of uh, Boolify, of the little uh, puzzle builder here, that's going to help us build our Boolean search. But to uh, begin a search, the first thing that we need is a search term. So uh, in order to start building your search, you're going to drag the word puzzle piece over into the Boolify canvas and that will uh, pop give a pop-up for you here for a keyword or phrase. We're going to use the keyword cattle. Okay, and now as you can see down below here, and I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see that the search for cattle uh, in a Google search re returned 2,930,000 estimated results, and you can start to see some of them here, starting with the Wikipedia entry for cattle. But perhaps we want to be more specific in our search, so one of the operators that we can add then is the not operator and in this case what we're going to do is eliminate any reference to dairy cattle we're going to focus on beef cattle here so I'm going to put the keyword dairy in here and you can see our Boolify uh, puzzle now has cattle and not dairy and this boolean search is represented in text down here right here where it says your search so if I took this text cattle space with a dash and then dairy, I could paste that into a Google search box and the results that were returned would uh, correspond to the Boolean search cattle and not dairy. All right, so you can see that we still have a lot of results here, although they are different results. As you can see, the Wikipedia article is not the top result anymore here in the Google search results. So let's continue to add keywords. Let's go ahead and use the AND operator here and drop that in. And this is a, a keyword that we're going to look for. We're not going to look for dairy, but we are uh, going to look for corn. Okay, and we'll add that search term here. And now you can see that has uh, severely uh, cut down our search results. We have 329,000 estimated results now. And uh, you can see that some of the uh, returns here, corn fed cows and corn from PBS. And here's a, a feeding corn to beef cattle article from www.ag.ndsu.edu. That's good news that we're showing up high on a search for cattle, not dairy, and corn. Let's make sure that uh, we're only looking at content from North Dakota State University Ag and University Extension however by adding another operator here this isn't technically a boolean operator but what we can do is limit our search results to a specific URL by dragging this URL tab in here and then entering a URL so I'm going to put in our URL at NDSU Ag and University Extension www.ag.ndsu.edu and now our search re results that you see down below are only 265 and all of them are coming from ag.ndsu.edu so again this is a visual way of creating a boolean search it does give you a text version here so I can easily cut and paste what I have here and go to Google completely away from Boolify and just paste that into a Google search and search for it and it's going to give me these results based on the syntax that I have here in the search that I created in Boolify. If you're not into the visual thing you can do something very similar just by going to Google and using the advanced search where it will allow you to use the Boolean operators in order to get to exactly what you want. But Boolify is a fun and interesting way to build Boolean searches and I hope uh, that you enjoy it.